Okay, so this is security control or security plus uh, performance based question number one. This is going to be on security controls. As security consultant for a newly launched IT company, you've assisted in the security planning process to ensure that the best security controls are in place. However, an organization cannot realistically plan for every situation, so processes and procedures need to be fluid and adjusted as security issues arise. With all things considered, the company has asked you to extend your consulting work past the initial planning process to assist with any security issues that arise in the first few months of business. As well, you will help select any security controls to resolve any such issues. Okay, so that doesn't really tell us anything. Okay, so use the drop-down selectors to select the appropriate control category, control type, and control to remediate the issue state in each scenario. So we have three scenarios. Control category, remediation needed. Control type, control remediation. Okay, so I think what they're going to do is they're going to ask us, the control remediation is going to have to be that uh, Tom, remember Tom, technical, operational, managerial. Now, the way CompT explains security controls, I worked for, with security controls for the federal government for a, a long time. Uh, and I used NIST 800-53 as my bread and butter document to help analyze those controls and select appropriate controls. The way CompTIA does controls, I'm not a huge fan of. I think there's too much of a similarity between operational and managerial controls the way CompTIA explains them. So the way CompTIA explains it, they have technical controls, which are pretty straightforward. Technical controls are the configuration settings, um, you know, configuring a firewall, uh, adding, well, like installing a endpoint solution, that'd be a technical control, blocking a certain um, a certain uh, port or protocol, etc. That's all a, a security control that's technical. Then you'd have operational, operational controls. These are controls designed around human activity as CompTIA explains it. So these are controls that are, that are more tactical in nature and then managerial controls are more uh, strategic in nature. So managerial controls are gonna be things like creating policies, uh, creating frameworks. They're also, whenever you need to evaluate or examine uh, a process to determine the best course of action, that's gonna be a managerial control. So that's the one thing that differentiates that between managerial and operational. You might argue that a policy would be a way to control human behavior, so that would be operational, and I would tend to agree too. Anyway, so let, let, I'm getting off at a tangent, but the control category that we have in the first one, this is, let's see, IT admin, the attack did some real damage. We need to add systems that identify malicious activity on our network immediately. So the control category remediation that's needed has to be either one of those TOMs, uh, technical, operational, or managerial. So if we're adding systems that identify malicious activity, that has to be technical, okay? Because we're adding a technical system here. Okay, now the control type, this is going to be most likely uh, detective, deterrent, corrective, compensating, physical, those types of controls. So we have our control category and then we have the control type. So if this is, we need to add systems that identify malicious activity on our network. Well, if we're identifying malicious activity, that's probably going to be a detective control, right? Now let's see if this drop down says corrective, compensating, detective, deterrent. I didn't mention deterrent. That's another type of control. Physical and preventative. I mentioned, did not mention preventative. So those are the different control types. So we're going to pick here detective. And then control remediation needed. I'm not sure what this is going to be because we already have the category and the type. Okay, okay, so these are like actual solutions. I get it, okay. Create AUP. Okay, that's a uh, acceptable use policy, permissions policy. These are not going to be technical in the technical category. These would probably be in the managerial category. Install alarm, install barrier, 
install host antivirus, IDS, keycard entry, perform security audit. Okay, so this would be operational, example of operational. Since we're doing an audit, we're evaluating our controls. That would be operational. Uh, this is a physical control. So this would probably be an IDS. I mean, we could do, I would say host antivirus also, but this just says attack did some real damage. That identify malicious activity on our network. It doesn't say malware, it just says malicious activity. So I'm gonna go with IDS and that corresponds with detective. Okay, scenario two, our employees are visiting bad unsecure websites way too often. We have we, but, but have we even stated that they shouldn't be doing this yet? Well, you should know if you have or not, CEO. If you're the CEO of your company, you should know that. But anyway, okay, our employees are visiting bad, unsecure websites way too often, but we have, but have we even stated they shouldn't be doing this? So I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of acceptable use policy. Are these drop downs the same? Because I saw AUP there. Yeah, they are. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick AUP here. It's not permissions policy. That's usually for like file permissions. So it's gonna be AUP. Uh, this is gonna be probably an operational control. Even though it's coming from a CEO, this has to do, um, put out, yeah, this has to do with uh, correcting human behavior. So that's gonna be a more operational control. When we evaluate a system, I think I misspoke here. When we evaluate a system like this perform security audit, that's a managerial control. I think I said operational control there. So this is an operational control because we're trying to control human activity. So we're trying to, and it also, the way CompTIA describes it, either you're controlling or guiding human activity or you're, uh, you're doing some sort of tactical day-to-day -day operation, that's operational. And those don't really match in a lot of circumstances. I don't really like that definition. That's why I'm trying to explain it to you guys so you understand it, because this confuses a lot of my students. Okay, control type remediation needed. Well, this is gonna be a corrective compensating, it could be corrective, compensating detective deterrent, could be deterrent, Manage your operation, it's physical preventative. It's not gonna be preventative, and you might say it might be preventative, I can see a lot of people thinking that, but the policy itself isn't gonna prevent anything. So the policy would either correct, because we have employees that are currently visiting websites, or we would deter them. Normally policy serves as like a deterrent, because you have to sign the pol this AUP this is something as a document that you would sign that would have circumstances or uh, consequences to an action. So if you engage to these sites, or you navigate to these sites, then you're gonna have, um, you know, this is gonna happen, you're gonna be docked pay, et cetera, et cetera. I could see this being corrective too. I might be wrong here. Okay, so this one, last one, the chief information officer it appears that anyone could possibly walk into the server room it's not very good. We need to evaluate and ensure only authorized people can have it. Okay, so there's a key word here I want to talk about because CompTIA loves to put their key words here. Evaluate is a key word. Evaluate points this towards managerial. And even though this would be, you would think, reading the rest of this, that you would want to guide people's behavior by making it that they couldn't enter the server room, I would say this has to be managerial just because of that word evaluate. You always wanna look for those key words that pop it out. So I could be wrong, but if, they, if they're being consistent, which you know, CompTIA, sometimes they're not very consistent, um, then I think it's managerial. Because managerial controls are used to also evaluate processes. So just because it says evaluate, I'm gonna pick managerial. Uh, this is going to be, we probably want to solve this by some sort of barrier or man trap or like some sort of lock, but these are all, the drop downs the same. So what do we have? Barrier that could work. That's not normally used for people though. Alarm, 
that doesn't stop them from walking in the first place. It's kind of a deterrent. Uh, here, key card entry. This is what we want, key card entry, and that's gonna be a physical type of control, physical type of control. Okay, I think this is right. Anybody have any other ideas? I mean, I'm not sure about this. Could be, could be uh, corrective. I think this is detective. I think we're okay. Let's try it. Okay, okay, good. All right, now let's see how they explain this because that's always, always important. There are three categories when it comes to security controls. Yeah, we know that. I don't know why they keep, they really should explain this because the way they explain it is kind of like a pyramid with technical at the bottom, then operational, then managerial at the top of the pyramid, if you can picture a pyramid. I always like to tell my students, remember the acronym TOM. Technical, operational, managerial, with technical at the bottom, operational, managerial. I don't really like to picture it as a pyramid because it doesn't really make too much sense to me. Uh, but you always want to think managerial. These are overarching strategies, policies. This is when you do an audit or you evaluate your current processes. Operational, this is guiding the behavior of people. Okay, It's all people-oriented and day-to-day -day operations. And then technical, these are going to be your... Configuration settings, your technical details, firewall settings, things like that. Those are technical controls. Installing IDS, that's technical. Okay, and it says here operational controls control the human element. That's not the best explanation because if that was only it, then this one would also control the human element. But this is managerial just because it says evaluate. Technical controls are controls that encompass hardware and software of the organization. That's true. Managerial controls relate to the oversight of a system, and this is where the explanation gets muddled. Examples can include risk identification or the evaluation or selection of other security controls. Then it just says scenario three needs a managerial control, but it doesn't explain why. The only reason it says why is because it says evaluate. Evaluation of other security controls. So this is one where it's a little cheap, I think. I don't think it's the best example. But just because it says evaluate, that means it's going to be managerial. You just got to take my word for it. Okay, security controls would be defined as different types. Preventative, uh, reduce the risk of attack. They don't eliminate the risk. You can never truly eliminate the risk of attack unless you choose not to participate in a business process. Physical controls, physically restrict access. Yep, scenario three uses a physical lock, key card lock. And then detective controls identify and record attempts. And we understand that. Corrective controls fix issues. Compensating controls. It says look to restore or back up a system so it can recover. Compensating controls will work in place of other controls. So say you have a, a camera that malfunctions. You can implement a compensating control in the meantime until that camera is fixed. You might have a guard stand or patrol outside the premises. To, to perform that detective function that the uh, camera did. What's this last part say? For scenario one, the available option that makes the most sense is installing intrusion detection system. Scenario two would use AUP and scenario three would use key card or token base. Yep, okay, pretty good. Any questions on that? Great job, hope this is helpful. Uh, fantastic work on that. Thank you.